Hello Vloglog, we're back and we've had a full weekday of people talking about where they were for the past six months, where Kevin was apparently no, not doing that much or not changing. I mean, six months is a fairly, you know, in, insignificant time in the scale of the universe and we got introduced to Luke who I think is a great addition to this channel, and Niall has been doing stuff he promises that, well, maybe we'll get to see someday. I believe him, though. And DK is trying to move to Chicago and get a job, so we wish him luck in that. Kevin has suggested an idea topic, even though he didn't want us to have come up with ideas or be responsible for it. He's giving me an idea for this week, so I figured I will indulge it and uh, just go ahead and go with the idea that he gave me. Which, We'll preface by saying you should probably watch a video by CGP Grey, who is an amazing video animator and really cool educational guy who does really cool educational videos on YouTube. Uh, the video that you should watch, and it's linked right here in the description, is, and probably in a little box thing if I get around to putting one up, uh, it's called Humans Need Not Apply. You've probably seen it. It was a pretty, went, went around the rounds and made like news and stuff like that, like actual proper news channels like Good Morning America, I think, had it, and weird stuff like that. Um, and basically, I'll sum up the video. If you, if you want to watch it, go watch it now. Okay, you're back. Um, if you didn't go, and if you did go and have a really short attention span, let me tell you that it's a video basically outlining all the ways in which humans will not be able to apply for jobs anymore. Uh, because robots will have taken them over, like taxi drivers will be replaced by autonomous cars that will be out hopefully within the next decade, and you know, that'll also replace like truck drivers, and you'll also have factory workers that'll get replaced. There's already tons of factory workers that have already been replaced, and basically farming will be all done by robots, and robots will do like all the jobs ever, and we won't have anything to do. Now, I don't want to really debate that because that's like technology and eventually that's going to happen. It's inevitable that we will keep marching forward with robots and automation and that. And so like I, I'm 99.99999% confident that if we don't fall to the great filter that is nuclear war or massive war or stuff like that, we will eventually achieve that. Timescales may be a dip different. Like I'm not... I, I can't guarantee it, obviously, but I think I think it's going to happen very, very quickly. Um, and it'll just sort of be like, one day you'll wake up and you, you'll go into work and be like, we bought a whole bunch of robots last night, uh, you're all fired. And that will kind of be the end of it for a lot of people. But the question is, what do we do then? Because now suddenly you're going to have huge swaths of industry that won't have jobs, like, and at all, like, there'll be far more people than will, that won't have jobs than will have jobs. And what do we do about that? And one idea is basic income. And that's kind of the topic for this month, for this week, not this month. We're not going to, well, we might talk about it for a month if we have a lively discussion. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to talk about a basic income. Uh, and the, the fundamentals of basic income are that, you know, we realize that not everyone can have a job anymore. So we're going to give everyone, say, you know... $30,000 a year, or we've gone through and we've calculated for our state of Massachusetts, you know, the average person needs like $29,500 per year to have a modest to not very good in, uh, to okay life. Like they can buy food, they can send their kids to school and keep them clothed, they can go to college because assumedly base income would also include some sort of education package. Maybe not. I think it, it, it absolutely should include education and sort of finer arts type stuff in it. Like community colleges should probably be free under this system. I know, at least in America, President Obama is currently trying to push forward with free education. That's a topic for another week, though. So maybe stay away from that, but I think it needs to be included in the base income. Uh, it's kind of just a given. Um, because you're going to want an educated populace. You're not just going to want, like, the populace is going to want to and should probably need to, like, pursue, like, mental stuff instead of just sitting on the couch all the time. Um, but maybe not. Maybe you can't force people to do that. But you should at least give them the option to without having to cut into their uh, perhaps already limited basic income. And so the idea would be that you could live 
and you could be pretty comfortable in a modest home with modest food, with modest clothing, with a modest car, and live fairly, sim fair fairly simply, and ha but happily. And if you wanted to, like, it wouldn't destroy capitalism. So, like, base income is sort of, sort of like, socialized to a point. So you, you, you live in the socialist place until you get to a point, and then it's like, you know, capitalism for here on out. So, you know, if you want more money, maybe you could paint art or make music or do something like that that, you know, would resonate with other humans rather than, like, music or art made by robots. Because in T.G.B. Gray's video, granted, he does talk about how music could be made by robots. But that doesn't make sense in capitalism because perhaps, you know, a capitalist economy would value human-made work more than it might value robot-made work. Even if it was the same caliber, just the fact that it was like, oh yeah, this was made by a human might encourage other humans to give up some of their income for it. Um, so you could do something like that, or you could, you could do any of the traditional, like, capitalist pull-up-from-your-bootstraps type, make tons of money and make an awesome business type thing. That's still all valid. If you can create a new line of work and then make robots do it, and that makes you money, great. You've made more money and now you can go on big fancy vacations and buy big fancy homes and it all it all still works it's just that there's a safety net that now exists that because we literally do not have enough jobs for everyone we now have to set the lid the minimum to be you're here in a very comfortable type lifestyle not fancy not necessarily what you want but comfortable you're not you're not you're not like a rock star you might you may not even have as much as you have now because maybe your parents work a lot, maybe you work a lot, and maybe you make a lot of money, and maybe the basic income would be less than that. But it would be a place that we wouldn't, it, it would eliminate poverty, because everyone would have at least this basic amount of money, and it would eliminate hunger. And I think that's a really good idea. So, with that in mind, I think, I think we'll, uh, we'll turn it over and ask what everyone else would like to know about. Um, because that's, that's cool. Um, so yeah, bye.